Hi guys, so this may be a little late of a post, but I just wanted to personally give you a glimpse of what happened during duties of It's Duty Times Meet and Greet here in Manila back in February 1, 2011. So the moment I heard about Judy's arrival in Manila, I was ecstatic. I, I did not think twice to sign up that Google form that they wanted the attendees to, you know, sign up to. When February 1 came, it was really a hectic day for me and I was just really, really glad that I had my sister to tag along with me because she wanted to meet up with someone else in Trinoma and that was such a fateful day because finally I had somebody to tag along with and besides it was a Tuesday so I don't know we if we went out the house during the rush hour and finding a taxi a cab was absolutely impossible I just I really cannot remember how we reached Trinoma Okay, I'm not going to say where I live, but I live in Manila and it took like a, an hour or two to reach Trinoma. Anyway, when we finally reached Trinoma, um, we walk, walked to the map or I think we asked a guard where the Sumo Sam is located and we were directed to it and I was trying to operate my cyber shot to, you know, vlog about the whole event and while we were nearing Sumo Sam, I was already holding my cap. I don't know, I couldn't narrate because my sister was with me and I was not really that comfortable doing, you know, talking to the cam or something else. So we were nearing Sumo Sam and oh my god, I saw Judy. No, I saw Benji first. Benji was like outside. I did not really see his face but I saw his back. And I zoomed in the cam inside the Sumo Sam restaurant and there was Judy. I was, I don't know what happened to me, I don't know what came over me, but I just started, you know, giggling and smiling, grinning like a freak. We waited for Sheena and her niece to arrive before we finally went in because nobody was inside yet. So like we were like um, early birds or something. When we finally um, gathered up the courage to go inside the Sumo Sam, um, Judy was, oh my god, Judy welcomed us and she was like, hi, hi. I was holding my camera, I was supposed to, you know, vlog about the whole thing, but I just, you know, when you meet someone famous and someone like you really look up to, I think you get a little bit of starstruck and then you forget everything that you have to do. And it was really, really surreal because I sat next to Judy. We were like six in the table, so the other table um, it was for Judy's family and there was her mom, her dad, her uncles, her cousins, and Benji. And then we were seated um, on a table right next to it and then Judy sat um, on the center seat and I was seated right beside her and we were all like really silent for the first few minutes and I just kept saying, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, putting God's name in vain, but I just kept saying, oh my God, oh my God, it's Judy, it's Judy, it's Judy. So I wanted to get, um, you know, a lot of pictures, so I asked Judy to pose for me, and the word that just came out of my mouth was picture. I know it sounded really, really stupid, like picture, and yeah, she gladly posed for me, and then I asked for her um, autograph, and beforehand, the night before, I... Um, did this I write wrote like Judy's autograph and then yeah she wrote me a letter there and I'm just going to read it say I'm so glad you are here at the meet and greet you are so beautiful smiley face stay sweet and thanks for much thanks so much for your support Judy it's Judy time dated February 1 2011 and I I've been keeping this in my drawer and I put it in a position where I can see it every day so that I would be inspired every day because of Judy. Thank you so much Judy for the letter and then I wanted to um, ask her for a fan sign since I promised a few people from my fan page that I would um, 
get them one because they were not able to go to the meet and greet so I wanted Judy to hold this sign up for me and it says all the names that I um, requested to be included in the fan sign so Judy signed it here and then she gladly posed for this one after we came like a lot of people already followed and Judy made us try sake. I didn't know if I pronounced that correctly. I didn't know sake or sake, whatever, but it's the Japanese rice wine and I had red lips on. I, If you haven't watched the video, I had red lips on. I was wearing Revlon's Fire and Ice lipstick. And Judy wanted me to try the sake or sake. Um, and then I kept refusing but in the end I gave in because you know Judy poured me a cup so I had to you know muster up the courage and just drink the sake or sake and then yeah it tasted horrible oh my gosh it tasted really really horrible but not that horrible but I don't know but I'm glad I was able to try it thanks to Judy who poured me the cup if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be able to, you know, try it at all. And then we were served like a lot of like, it was a big, big tray of Japanese appetizers or something. But I really, really like the asparagus that was, um, that has this bacon strips wrapped around it. I don't know what it's called, but I just really like it. I was able to try it already when I had like um, a lunch with my boyfriend's family we had lunch at Oki Oki Mall of Asia and they also have that one and then so we got into talking but then Judy had to transfer to the other table because a lot of people already came and she had to you know transfer and so who who do you think sat on our table <music> Benji Judy times Benji and oh my god he was seated right next to me and I was like I was like that all the time and it was really funny I didn't, I didn't really know what to say to him but he just kept on you know saying encouraging stuff to us because he knows that some of us are beauty bloggers as well and makeup gurus in YouTube and he was you know giving us all these advices and all these tips on how to like something something like succeeding and he gave like really awesome advices on how to achieve or succeed in the industry and he was really really inspiring I tell you he was really inspiring aside from the fact that he is very good looking I think I speak for everyone who went to the meet and greet that Benji's support to Judy is really 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 sweet I think it's such a I don't know it's just really I find it really sweet that how you know how he supports Judy all the way and then after that Sheena and I went over to the other table to talk to Judy and that is how I was able to get that vlog in in my previous video. Okay. Hi! Hi. <laughs> this is Sam! <laughs> I think you're the only one I remember your name because it's so different. You know, very unique. Oh, and Emma. Her, her name is unique too. <laughs> like I said, I'm really bad with names. So. I, I, know, I just regret not, you know, speaking to her. It, it sucks, you know. I wish I could have talked to her more like Sheena did. Yeah, but it was such an experience to remember. I will not forget meeting Judy and Benji here in Manila. So I'm going to share to you guys the a um, few photos from the meet and greet. And I hope you still enjoyed watching this vlog, even though I just rambled on, you know, what happened. Um, Judy, if you're watching this, I just wanted to say thank you so much for inspiring all of us. I know I wasn't able to speak to you straight during the meeting with me it's because you just really made me you know starstruck i was speechless my english 
went, you know, my English went out really, really bad and it was really embarrassing. Now I'm going to tell you something embarrassing that happened during the meet and greet. So when we, when Sheena and I were already, um, you know, talking to Judy, she was, she said to me that she liked my sweater, um, I mean the blazer that I wore, and what came out from my mouth was, thanks, it's my sister. Thanks, it's my sister. And then when it processed in my head that I said that the blazer was my sister, I abruptly, you know, took it back and I just told her, oh, it's my sister's pala. And I said pala. I don't know, I just, you know, panicked because I said the wrong thing. I don't know, I guess, you know, stars just really make you starstruck and poof, you're, and your, you know, your brain just explodes. You're left speechless, um, dumb. I don't know, I really sounded dumb during the meeting.